Columbus, Ohio. This is the Get Business Credit YouTube channel with your host, Josh Van Horn. Subscribe now and hit the bell notification right now to stay up to date as soon as we release new business credit gems. Take it over, Josh. Hey, what's up? It's Josh with the Get Business Credit YouTube channel. So in today's video, I'm going to be going over how to build business credit fast if you want to do it super fast for a brand new business so if you don't have any trade lines already set up or you never worked on your business credit that's what this is for so before i get into that um just want to ask if you're not already a subscriber please hit the subscribe button below it really helps our channel grow and be sure to turn the bell notification on so a lot of you guys may not need this information because you're already at your tier twos or you already have your business credit established i got a, quite a few comments and uh, feedback from facebook our facebook group and on the comments on the different videos i have on people asking if they're a brand new business how do they expedite building up their business credit because you know this is not a sprint it's a marathon it takes time so i laid out here the vendors that i would go after if you don't already have these vendors set up go after these this is the quickest way to get everything set up for your business credit to start booming quickly rather than just waiting so if you can afford it uh, expect to spend about eight hundred to fifteen hundred dollars, depending on a few factors. Um, that's not. That's for basically for the products and fees for these trade lines. So, you go through U line, you're gonna have to buy something. That's a cost. So each of these trade lines, there's gonna be fees, or you have to buy products to get those reported. You know. So, each vendor that I may be going over. Uh, it's a vendor trade line that offers net 30 account terms. Some require a membership fee that you have to pay yearly uh, for a net 30 application or require a minimum spend to trigger the reporting to the business credit bureaus. So this is the quickest option to get business credit built up fast. You know, like I said, not all vendors are required. You don't have to go after all these. If you already have some of these or you already have a you know some credit build up with your business credit so like I said this is mainly made for somebody that really doesn't have a paydex score doesn't have Experian or Equifax scores so that's basically what I'm gonna be covering in the in this order as well that I'm gonna be going through it's kind of pretty much you know uh, sorry my phone's going off there um, it's going over like an order that you want to set up these in and you can set them up right away if you have the funds to do all these right away you know so without further ado let's get into it so the first one is nav uh, nav.com it's a reporting service and they give you tons of information they have a service called nav business boost it's 39 dollars a month or you can pay quarterly, which is 120 for three months. It reports to all the business credit reporting agencies, such as Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, Equifax, and I believe even Credit Safe. So this is going to generate, if you don't already have the scores and uh, accounts set up, say with Experian, Equifax, Dun & Bradstreet, this is going to help trigger those uh, your credit reports with those credit reporting agencies. So they're going to report this payment every month, the $39.99 a month, or the $120 for three months. They're going to report that as a payment experience. You know, so that's one trade line. So that's what I'd go after right away. Get that one first. Next is Crown Office Supplies. Crown Office Supplies charges a $99 setup fee, and they'll give you up to $2,200 credit line. So the $99 setup fee is a setup fee for all net 30 uh, applications that you have to pay and then you really want to order like a $50 order to trigger the reporting some say you don't have to but a lot of these I'm telling you I personally experienced and went through that's how I got my business built up 
credit, you know, over the years and actually a lot of them last, last year. So, um, <clears throat> you know, they're, they're overpriced and, you know, it's not the greatest quality stuff, but, you know, you kind of have to pay to play. So it reports to Experian, Equifax, and Credit Safe. Uh, they did report to Dun & Bradstreet before, and I can't confirm if they still are or not. Some say they are no longer reporting. Some people in the comment section saying they're not reporting to Dun & Bradstreet, and I can't get a yes or no directly from Crown Office Supplies or not. So, but at any rate, they're reporting to Experian, and that's the second best. So it's, you know... Um, a good one to go after also I want to mention there'll be links in the description below and I'll have a spreadsheet with all these as well that you can view and click on the links and go apply some of them I will uh, disclaim that I am affiliate with a few of the companies not all of them but I would say about half of these I'm affiliate with you know just helps our channel um, helps fund our channel and put out the content for the time and effort it goes into, like one video that's 20 minutes long may take, you know, 12 hours to put together the content, make sure that I'm covering all the bases and everything. So, you know, I want to make sure I'm putting out correct, good content to, to you guys. So that's Crown Office Supplies. And then the next one is Uline. Everyone heard of Uline. Uline may offer you net 30 terms if you're a new business. It's a hit or miss if they will or not. If they'll extend that 30 terms to you. Some people say that they get approved right away with them. And others say they don't get approved and they want to, they tell you prepay three, or three to five orders. So it seems like they're COVID sensitive. So it's a hit or miss. Same with Quill. They may or may not, so you want to try anyways. If they tell you to prepay three to five orders, I would tell you it's up to you. If you have the funds to do it, you can do it, but there's no guarantee that they will even extend open credit terms to you even after three or five orders. They're kind of strange. So they report to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian that has been reported. Next one is Quill. Dot com quill is just like uline it's hit or miss just like yesterday somebody said that uh, on the uh, facebook group said that quill approved them right away but uline wants them to th you know prepay three to five orders and then i a week ago somebody said the opposite that uline approved them right away and quill wants orders prepaid so uh but they're both good if you can get them um you know, so Quill may offer you the net 30 terms if you're a new business, as I stated. They are also hit or miss. They also report to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian. That's been reported. Next one is Schertzy. Schertzy offers on-demand printing. They charge a $99 setup fee. Uh, that's just a setup fee to get your net 30 application um, set up. And it's best to order a couple t-shirts after that to trigger reporting. So it could be for your company or, you know, to resell or whatever. So they say they report to all business credit reporting agencies. I can't confirm that 100% sure that they report to Dun & Bradstreet, but they do report to all the other ones. It may take up to 60 days for the reporting. Um, I know they do poll Dun & Bradstreet, so they're likely to be reporting to Dun & Bradstreet, but I can't confirm that 100% quite yet, but I'll let you guys know as soon as I do. But it's still worth it because, like I said, the Experian is pulled by a lot of uh, big lenders, and it's good to have good Experian Intel score. So the next one is Global Industrial. Global Industrial, when creating a new business account, register put in all your business information then after that you want to click the there's a button their website's a little tricky to find where you can get the net 30 terms but there's a section where it says open terms so you want to click that and that's how you're going to select that as your payment option so open terms is their net 30 payment terms 
place an order around 75 to 90 dollars because they're going to charge you shipping on top of that for whatever you order i ordered with them i did a video actually about that uh it's an order video you can check that out um in the playlist or whatever but they can take you know three days five days a week to even uh get your order approved at least with mine they did it took them i think five six days before to come back and say it was processed and approved or whatever shipped so they reported to dun and bradstreet and Experian as of october 2020 I'm not sure if they're still reporting down, down in Bradstreet. Something's going on where some are, you know, slow to report. I'm not sure, but that's why I said building business credits, you know, it's a, it's not a sprint. It's a marathon, so you want to get these going right away so then you can, you know, in, in 60 to 90 days, you'll be, you'll be in pretty good shape with business credit. So the next one is the Creative C or the CEO Creative. They offer office supplies, printing services, like gift baskets, web services, and electronics. They also charge a sixty-nine dollars uh, setup fee for the Net Thirty account. And then I talked to them today. There's a minimum spend of forty that you have to order after that uh, on Net Thirty terms at least $40 to trigger the reporting. It reports to Equifax and Credit Safe. And let's see here. The next one is similar. It's Creative Analytics. Creative Analytics offers up to $10,000 business credit line. Their setup fee is $79 for the Net30 account. Minimum spend of $100. So this one can be a little bit pricey, but if you need a business website, they have like a $99 a month plan where they'll build you a website and you just pay them $99 a month. So, um, and they'll build you a custom website. So it may, you know, come in handy for you. They report to Equifax and Credit Safe. Like I said, they offer digital services such, such as logo design, website design, social media marketing, etc. So, like I said, all the links will be in the description below. Next one is Strategic Network Solutions. So they offer net 30 terms. You must order $75 worth of digital downloadable products. Some of them are ebooks they have. Some are like legal forms, Quicken forms, uh, Quicken program. They have a few programs that may be handy to you, accounting programs and stuff. So, um, but a lot of people, you know, get the account just to get the account reporting and don't really use the product so like i said it's uh, one of those things where you you know pay to play to build up your business credit it is what it is you know this is to fast track your business credit so they report to equifax and credit safe they can report to dun and bradstreet through behalf.com with their tier two option so after you set up your account there's going to be an option for their tier one and their tier two option on their tier two option. It's, I can't give you the exact amount. I forget how much it is, but it's, it's pretty pricey for, but they can report to Don Bradstreet for the services they offer, um, on the tier two, but for the tier one, it's just downloadable products. There's like, you know, I don't know, 30 or 40, uh, software and eBooks that you can download you know and you just pay that 75 dollars after you set up the account you know so uh let's see here so that's the mainly the net 30 vendors that i want to go over and you'll see why here in a minute why i have these in the list most of them i have already done business with myself and that's how i was able to get my business credit built up with you know a couple of my companies um and a couple of them I haven't done business directly with, but I have a lot of people that has done business with them, and the reporting is coming through fine. So the next one is um, the BP Fleet Cards. 
So don't go after the BP Business Solutions Fuel Plus program because it's limited to just BP gas stations. You want to go after the BP Business Solutions MasterCard program. The BP Business Solutions MasterCard program could soft pull your personal credit or it could hard pull your personal credit. It's not really a PG. What they're doing is just checking to see if you know the business owner's credit is worthy or... Uh, identity verification. It's crazy because you'll see two videos I did about this card and the two gas video cards that I did and there's a lot of people saying that they just got soft pulls from BP Fleet Corps and then a couple of people said they got a hard pull so um, and it doesn't say anything about being a hard pull it just says that it's uh, that they do that to verify the identity so um, they have to tell you that up front so if they offer you the unsecured then you know you obviously won't have to pay anything they just gonna give you the unsecured BP business solutions MasterCard but if they come back and say that um, they can't approve you for the unsecured they're normally gonna offer you a deposit option where it's like a three times deposit so it could be minimum of two hundred dollars so you um, send them two hundred dollars through bank wire or whatever and then your BP MasterCard will have a credit limit of six hundred or you can do five hundred and then have a fifteen hundred dollar credit limit so um, so they report to Dun & Bradstreet and Experian like I said, this is just an option. These last two are just options if you really want to get that reporting going quickly to Dun & Bradstreet, you know. So um, I'll show you here in a minute what I'm talking about. The next one is uh, WEX, WEX Fleet Cards. I would just do the main WEX Fleet Card um, instead of one of the branded ones like 7-Eleven or whatever. Just do the WEX Fleet Universal Card. This is similar to like the BP one, but it's through Wex Bank. If your business does not get approved for uh, the unsecured, and say they come back and ask you for a PG, say no, you don't want a PG. Just tell them that you want to do a security deposit uh, program. Their minimum security deposit program is five hundred dollars. It also reports the Dun & Bradstreet, Experian, and Credit Safe. Deposit gets returned between 6 and 12 months after on-time payment history. So, um, like I said, these last two cards, you don't have to, but this is going to help if you do all this at once. You don't have to do all this, all these vendors at once, but if you're a new business and you don't already have any of these, you haven't really started, and you can afford it, then, you know, get moving on all these. You can apply and get all these within, you know, one to two weeks. So here I'll show you what I'm talking about. So the nav boost is $39.99. You can see here how I have it listed is it reports to Dunn and Bradstreet, reports to Experian, reports to Equifax. Credit safe, I have a question mark there because I cannot confirm yes or no it does. Crown Office Supplies charges, you know, the $99 setup fee, plus I just added $40. You don't have to. You can order something for $20, whatever. I just put $40, you know, order something to generate the reporting. Yeah, it's best just to be on the safe side. Do they report to Dun & Bradstreet? I put down no because some people are saying that they're, they're not recently. But I also have a question mark here because I can't confirm 100%. Um, they do report to Experian, Equifax, and Credit Safe. And then you see here Uline, $50. I'm just putting about what the minimum is going to cost you if you go through all these. This is what it's going to cost you. And then in 60 to 90 days from now, if all these are reporting, you should be in pretty good shape to get a lot of business credit through higher tier twos so uh you line fifty dollar order as far as uh the reporting dine bread street yes experian yes equifax no uh according to the data that data points i'm getting credit safe unsure of because credit safe's getting a lot of reporting recently 
So not 100% sure on that. Quell, same thing, 50. Yes, Down and Bradstreet, Experian, yes. Equifax, no. Credit Safe, unsure. Schertze, $99, you know, setup fee. Yes, they report to Dun & Bradstreet, they say, and all the information out there is saying, yes, they report to Dun & Bradstreet. I haven't personally seen that. I have ordered with Shirtsey a couple months ago. I've yet to see it reported on my Dun & Bradstreet, but it is reporting on my Experian and Equifax. Um, I'm not sure if it's reporting. Yeah, it is reporting on Credit Safe as well. Um, so... That one's kind of up in the air as far as Dun & Bradstreet goes. And then Global Industrial, uh, $75, just say, minimum order. Like I said, they were reporting to Dun & Bradstreet back in October. Can't say for certain they are reporting to Dun & Bradstreet right now. And uh, they report to Experian, Equifax. No data to support that they report to Equifax as well as credit safe the CEO of creative like I said it's $69 setup fee plus a minimum of $40 order they do not report to Dun & Bradstreet they do not report to Experian but they do report to Equifax and credit safe and then the same thing with creative analytics DC $79 um, for the app fee to set your account up and then a minimum of $100 order and no, they do not report to Dun & Bradstreet. No, they don't report to Experian, but they did say they're working on that. Uh, they do report to uh, Equifax and Credit Safe. Strategic Network Solutions, um, $75, you know, for your minimum order, for your Net30 account, whatever you're going to order on the digital products. No, they don't report to Dun & Bradstreet on Tier 1, but Tier 2 they do on... Uh, through their tier two program with behalf so that one's you know you have to get into that a little bit more details they don't report to Experian they do report to Equifax and Credit Safe and then BP Business Solutions MasterCard um, they could approve you you know with no deposit so given they approve you with no deposit then you're not gonna have to pay this but if you do then you're gonna have to pay the least the minimum of 200 dollar deposit yes they reported down in bradstreet experian equifax uh there's no data to support that they actually report to equifax uh, or credit safe as far as the wax fleet card they also could approve you you know like for the um you know unsecured card but if you're a new business they may come back and say no you need to do a security deposit minimum of five hundred dollars or a personal guarantee um and they do report to dun and bradstreet experian equifax unsure of if they are reporting to equifax they do report to credit safe so your total is going to be anywhere that's if you have to do the deposits is going to be anywhere from like a thousand to fifteen hundred dollars so that's with all the products that you're going to be ordering and paying all your invoices and the security deposit you know and uh, application fees so you're going to be around thousand to fifteen hundred dollars but it could be you know if you got approved for the two fleet cards you could be around eight hundred dollars it just depends how much you order with these companies as well you know i'm just putting about the minimums to get uh triggered reporting so you can see here it says question mark means unsure if they report to that agency yes question mark or no question mark I mean they did report to that agency recently but cannot confirm if they do 100 percent currently to that agency i'll have a link in the description to this um excel sheet that you guys can view these links here that's in the sheet um and the link below i'll have all the links and also in the excel spreadsheet google docs um, it will be shareable and you can click directly on those links to go right to the sites and sign up as well all right uh this video went on a little bit longer than i expected to but um I just wanted to get this out there for you guys that are just starting off your business credit journey 
And for those that already built up your business credit and are waiting for other credit gems that I'm going to be releasing, just stay tuned. Uh, I got a lot, you know, I'm working on and tons of new videos going to be coming out in the coming days. So just, you know, uh, stay put and take care. And like I said, if you're not already a subscriber, please hit the subscribe button. Smash the like button if you like this video. Turn the bell notification on. Appreciate all you guys' support. Comment below too if you have any questions. Thanks. Bye.